Hi everybody, today I'm going to be talking about creating a 2 to 1 gear ratio using uh, LEGO Techno Gears. Uh, so the other day I was doing a project and I needed a 2 to 1 gear ratio uh, as a solution to get the uh, right uh, movement between some parts. And I found it quite hard. I mean, it was actually harder than I thought. I thought uh, it'd be fairly straightforward to create a two to one. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you today how I solved that particular problem. So let's first start looking at the gears that we do have available. So on the right side here, these are what I call the regular gears. On the left, we've got the double bevels. So looking at the regular gears, um, we've got this one here, which has got 40 teeth. We've got one that's got 24 teeth. Uh, one with 20 and one with 8 just over here now the number of teeth is not the only thing that's different between the gears of course is the different sizes and if you want any two of these gears to mesh uh, you have to look at the diameter or the radius and if you get two of them the, the radius or the distance between the axles is pretty much the sum of the radius of each of the two gears that you're trying to mesh together so if we look at the size of the different gears, if we look at this one here and put it in there, if we look carefully we'll actually find that it's two and a half um, standard LEGO I guess, size units, which is eight millimeters. This one's two and a half. This one here is one and a half. The smallest is a half. And this one here with 16 teeth is in fact one. So that's the difference, they're all halves, and this one here is a one. So in order for any of these two to mesh, like I said, you have to add up the radius and of the two gears and make sure that the distance between the axles um, is equal to that, that, that sum. So for example, if we look at this gear here, which is two and a half, if we add that to a one and a half, we get a, a total of four, uh, and then it will mesh because four is an even number of, of units and we can mesh those gears together. Uh, we can also put the two and a half and a half, get uh, three, and that meshes as well. Uh, we can put, you know, a half with a half that makes a whole, and that meshes as well. So any two gears that add up to a whole number uh, in terms of the radius will um, will get will mesh together. Now the exception is this one. Um, this one here has got a whole um, size, so it's one. If we try to mesh that, for example, with a half, it doesn't add up to a whole, and they, they don't uh, fit together. Um, same with the one and one and a half, it doesn't mesh either. Now, however, that said, the one and the one, they do mesh together quite nicely. It was one plus one is two. So these ones will not mesh with these ones, and these do all mesh together. So like two groups of gears, the ones that mesh and the ones that mesh but they don't actually mesh uh, between them if we look at the double bevel gears uh, it's kind of similar here we've got one with uh, 36 teeth we've got one with 20 and the smallest with 12 now with the double bevel there's only three gears over here with the standard ones uh, there's four different gears now the sizing of these in terms of the radius is a little bit uh, interesting as well if we look at this very carefully, we'll find that the largest is two and a quarter um, standard units in size. It's not a half, not a whole, it's actually a quarter. This one here is one and a quarter. And the smallest is, in fact, three quarters. So again, to, to make these add up to a whole, um, the only way these add up to a whole is, is the quarter. Uh, sorry, the three quarters and something like one and a quarter. So these will mesh because that makes a whole. Um, that adds up to two. The smallest one and the largest one will mesh. That adds up to three. However, if we try to add uh, the three quarters and a three quarters, uh, sorry, a quarter and a quarter, they won't mesh. Um, that one or won't mesh with itself either. So that's interesting to note. Now, in order to make a 2 to 1 gear ratio, pretty much what we need is just one gear that's got double the teeth of the other gear. So if we look at all these gears of the, the regular ones, um, the only combination that has got uh, a 2 to 1 would be the 16 and the 8. Uh, all the other combinations either give you a 3 to 1 or a 5 to 1. So for example, this is a 40 to 8, so it's 5 to 1. Um, this is the 24 and the 8 will give us a 3 to 1 
but the only one that gives us the two to one is these guys now unfortunately they don't actually mesh uh, because one is size one the other one's size a half so we've somehow got to make the distance between the axles equal to one and a half so that pretty much requires uh, us to have a hole in between uh, the other standard holes now that is not as easy to do as as you might think um, a lot of the parts in lego they're all obviously evenly spaced and don't allow you to easily create one and a half okay so how are we going to solve this problem how are we going to get a hole in between two other holes well obviously we can't get the holes in between two holes we have to somehow offset another piece um, in between a uh, lift arm like this now there are some pieces already existing that you think might allow you to do that for example this one's kind of got an offset uh, so there's this one here and this one has got a hole in the middle in between two standard units uh, so I've tried creating solutions with these pieces and found it quite hard as well um, I have managed to do it for example with this one I've created this construction use that piece there and that allows us to create this offset between uh, that hole and that one of one and a half so for example we can get it to mesh now like this and that gives us a two to one gear ratio however this is kind of quite clumsy um, it's not that strong you have to build other pieces around to strengthen it um, I've also created this solution here using this piece so for example we've now got an offset using that center piece between that hole and that hole of one and a half so again we can put this together with that one and that will give us our two to one gear ratio but again it looks messy it doesn't join very well to other parts uh, it's not that strong uh, it's just awkward really um, so what I found was that actually these pieces were a bit distracting they're red herrings um, finally when I did solve it it was uh, very nice and I found that this piece here is the answer because what you can do you can stick that piece onto two axles uh, you can then get two spaces like this one one two and put another one on here and that gives you exactly the one and a half spacing that we need and it's uh, quite strong um, we can now put this one together with a small one and it creates a very nice two to one and the good thing about this piece you can build it up to create my final solution which is this one here uh, it's got the same spacing created um, from the two to one now the problem with that of course is that you know with one of the axles sitting at uh, a, a center spacing so in order to get that back to a, a regular spacing uh, we've got these two wheels here using the double bevel um, three quarter gears and the three quarter gears together create one and a half which is exactly the same spacing uh, and the great thing about this solution is very very strong uh, and also mounts nicely onto a lift arm like this and that creates that two to one gear ratio that we're after between these two points Right, so after developing this solution, uh, I did spend a bit more time thinking about the problem and I did realise, um, after a bit of thinking, that even though within the regular gears, the only solution that gives us a 2 to 1 is the 16 and the 8, and in fact there are no uh, 2 to 1 gear ratios in the double bevel, if we mix them and look at this gear here, which is a 12, and this one here which is a 24 then that in fact does give us a 2 to 1 as well and you generally don't think of that because you think of them as different gears and they don't really go together but they do actually mesh um, which is interesting now of course in terms of the distance between them because this one is three quarters uh, size and this one is one and a half you'd have to have a total distance between the axles of two and a quarter and of course two and a quarter is a very awkward distance um, it's not really any sort of, uh, you know, there's no pieces in LEGO that are only a quarter thick. Uh, you could create the solution by simply, you know, using this kind of technique and having a very small gap uh, between these pieces to create the two and a quarter distance. Uh, but uh, that generally doesn't work that well in practice, uh, as you know, with one of the axles at a, a very odd spacing. Now, 
if you're a bit of a mathematician, uh, you may realize that two and a quarter is very close to the square root of five. And if we draw a triangle uh, like this, and make this length two, and make this length one, sorry, that's a bit poorly drawn, like that, then by Pythagoras' theorem, this side here is equal to the square root of two squared plus one squared, which is equal to the square root of five, which is very close to two and a quarter, which is the spacing we need. So what does that mean in terms of Lego? Well, it means that, in fact, we can get one of these pieces um, and put one axle at this point here, one here, and look at that, we've got a two to one. And now the distance between is two and a quarter. Magic. Well, I hope you like this video and can make use of these solutions in your own designs and MOCs. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and if you like more of this content, please like and subscribe.